Do you ever do something like this? You ought to tighten something down. And it just keeps spinning. You just strip the threads. All right, a lesson why you should not use air guns or any type of uh, impact gun to put bolts in. That's not what happened in this case. I already stripped it. I stripped it using the torque wrench, believe it or not. The threads just were bad. Somebody might have done work on it before, but regardless, I'm going to show you how to replace the threads or fix the threads on his head. All right, for starters, what we're going to do is we are going to prepare our head for service. I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to shove a paper towel in there so we don't get no metal shavings down in there. Probably do this. We're going to do the same for the other one. Do not want to get nothing down inside the engine. So, you can take this off and do it if you want. This is how I do it. Now I went overboard putting the paper towels in the cylinder head. Now you can proceed. First thing we're going to do is find out what the bolt size is. We're going to use this bolt gauge here. I guess you would call it a bolt gauge. Now, this will be metric. And this is all standard. Now you put in a quarter inch standard, it seems a little loose. It's not a real snug fit, so that's not the size. So we're going to go over to the metric. And we're sticking to number six. And that's snug. You have a little bit of play, but it's not as bad as quarter inch. So. We've got some aluminum thread stuck in there. Okay. Now we know the bolt thread or the bolt is six millimeter. Now we gotta get the thread pitch. Well and this is on the back, so you wanna go. It'll say metric. It will say standard United States thread pitch. We want to go metric that thread pitch. So check 7. Now it slides. Check 75. Now it still slides. Put on a 1. There we go. A nice little drag. We put it on a 1.25. Nothing. We put it on a 1. So now we know it's. Uh, the thread pitch is 1.0 millimeter. So, bolts 6 millimeter by 1. Thread pitch being 1 millimeter. Okay, so now we need a rethreading kit. Thread repair kit. Which comes with the thread installer. The tap and the threads. They're like springs, but they're actually threads. So we're gonna open this kit.
Some of these will tell you what drill bit to use on them. This one doesn't. Because it comes with instructions. With all their different kits. So we know it's a 6x1. So we'll go to the drill bit. What is this? What is it? The second one? Second one down. So we either need a drill bit that's 6.30 millimeter or a quarter inch drill bit. Well, I have a quarter inch drill bit, so let's get to the quarter inch drill bit. All right, now we have our quarter inch drill bit and our drill. Now we're gonna drill out the bolt or the, uh, the bolt hole. Try to keep it as straight as possible. Start drilling. Don't take out too much. Let's take out just enough. And you keep it as straight as possible. Now, looks kosher, down there deep enough. Now we'll tap her with this tap. What we do is start it like so, put it right there. All right, now that we drilled the hole out, now we're gonna use the tap. Start setting it up. You feel the teeth get a little bite. What you wanna do, I use a wrench. I mean, you can use whatever you want, but I use a wrench. Put a little down pressure on it. Once you get it started, start turning it. And it'll feed its way in, and it'll re-thread it. Do it nice and slow. Check it out, make sure you're going in straight. Now it's making new threads for your your coil that you're going to put down there. Now those those coils over there are stainless steel. Which I think most of your companies use. Go down until we feel snug. Sorry about the hand. And pull her on checker. Get some air. Or use some air to blow it out. We're down there far enough. Now we put our coil in.
coil insert tool. We have our coil. You want to make sure that right there is the piece you're going to is the part you're going to grab with this right here, this coil tool. So, put the coil on the end of the tool like so. Then we'll put it right into the hole and insert it. Just screw it all in there. Feel it nice and snug. Now you don't want to force it in there. Then you'll just start the coil or ruin your new threads that you just put in. So, look it down there. See the new threads? Now we'll install our rocker arm. Oh, wait, hold on. Jump in the gun here. What I like to do. Spray with some WD-40. That'll help keep the uh, shavings stuck in the paper towels. Put the paper towels off. Get some air. Blow the rest off. Pull these out. Install our new bolt, or our old bolt. Make sure your threads are clean. Make sure you snug it down. Now you torque it down. Now we have our torque wrench. Just sit. I want to torque it at 100 inch pounds. So 100 inch pounds. So here we go. That's 100 inch pounds. Now, 
We're gonna test it. Let me see if the threads hold. Go and turn the engine. There you go, that's good. And that's it. And that's how you rethread a bolt hole. Any questions or concerns, please comment below.